to our next topic analysis of sales and distribution process so this is more theoretical topic <clears throat> so let's start this topic so in this topic we're going to cover the topics are list processing to locate and evaluate information <clears throat> and uh, SIS sales Info information system okay so let's start with the list and reports what are the lists and what are the reports okay so <clears throat> in SAP we have uh, basically um, uh, different type of information for example um, you can see we created a lot of orders in the system but um, if you need to search for something okay so for example uh, in your company, uh, people creating say hundreds of sales order every day, but you need to search for something. Then we have some tools here to to search for a particular uh, sales order for a for a for a customer or something like that, or any quotation or any inquiry or anything, or even any any document you can think of like billing document, delivery document, and all that. Okay, so let's see how it's done. Um, So let's discuss this one in the details. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, we have in the system we have two types of work list. So one is called list and one is called reports. Okay. So in other words, you can call it one as online list. Okay. So online list provides you uh, the data for the documents. Okay. And display, like I just said, it will display the, the you can find a particular a sales document any billing document anything okay so let me show you this one practically what I mean here is so for example <clears throat> if I want to search for a for a, for sales order for a customer okay so how, how can I do it so I will go to logistics and uh, sales and distribution and sales and information system and here I can see different types of stuff like orders quotation for example if I open orders here this is my list of sales order okay so let me sh let me do some setting actually it will show the key as well um, actually let me log on via okay should be okay. Um, I'm using a different ID here let me log on via different ID <coughs> So if I go to logistics, sales and distribution and sales and information system and orders. Okay. Now what, what I was talking before was here you can see the key. Okay, showing the key and the description. So if you do not have you if you can't see the key, you need to do the setting from here. You can click on this last icon, customize local layout, click on options and uh, make sure you're, you're, you double, double, double click on visualization one and here tick this one and that one. Okay, tick both. Tick, tick. Okay, and apply and okay. With this one it will show the key as well and the description. Otherwise it will only show you description. So <clears throat> This is VA zero five. This is the list of sales order. Okay, if I want to some want to if I want to uh, search for a sales order for a customer, I can double click on this one transaction VA zero five, and here I can search for a customer sales order. Okay, I can enter uh, I can enter a number here. For example, uh, customer number. So it was three zero one three three six, I guess. And here, this is by default system will select one month in the past. Okay, all, give me all the sales order from uh, by defaults. This is a today's date, and this is a date in uh, one month in the past. <coughs> and here I can, if you want, I can select open sales order or all orders. Open sales order means 
the orders that are not yet delivered and they are open okay if i click on my order it will give me only the orders created by me for this customer but if i select if i untick this one and say open order that means all the orders for this customer that are open that are not delivered yet okay and clicking on this one that means all orders so if i if i now press enter it will give me all the list it's asking me which sales organization i will say thousand and tick See, that's a list of all the sales order. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is not a good view here, so probably we need to change the view. Um, okay, probably leave it for now. So, for example, it's showing me all the li list of all the sales order. Okay. So, for this customer. So, for example, I can see this is a sales order number, this, this, and this. So if you want, I can double click on any order. Okay, I can double click on any order. For example, this one, it will take me to that order. I can jump to that order. Uh, tick yes. And that's your sales order. Okay. So similar way, if I go back, back, I can say, give me all the sales order only for material P109, for example. So not this one. Even you can search by purchase order number, or I will say P109. Okay. And give me all the open orders. Press enter. And these are only the open orders in the system. Okay, so double click on any order. You can it will take you to that order, and you can make the changes in that sales order, and you can come back. Sorry, if I if I if you double click on material, it will take you to material. So if if I'm click, double clicking on this one material number, it will take you to the material master. Go back one step. If you click on any item, for example ten, it should take you to the sales order for that item. See that I can make any changes here, and I will save it. And I can go back. So that's how you search sales order. So um, there's a question here. Key come from extra link in menu bar in easy access screen. I didn't get you, Manish. What do you mean by? extra link but I think the setting is here the one I was showing before that's a setting <clears throat> what is a document what is a document date in V05 document date where is it let me check V05 or document date this is a date when the order was created when the order was created that's your document date okay date in the document and then why there are two line items in the report actually this report is showing me something some different view let me open this report again well is is this is a little bit different i think because i'm using the the new gui or maybe because of that but that means this is the order number and this order has two line items one is this one one is this one. Are you right? I think they is showing ten and ten. That means uh, let me check both sales order. So if I go to this one, one three four one eight, which is fine. And here. Okay. Think. If I go to the schedule lines, just like this, schedule lines, I think that's because of this one, see, um, because there are two schedule lines, so one is 21st with zero confirmed date and other one is 24th for one piece, so 
there should be some settings 